In the previous video, we have implemented the logic for our cars to stay on the intersection and to take turns into leaving it, so if we place a special structure on one end of a four-way street and three houses, and when we spawn our cars, the cars will take turns into driving through the intersections. So what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that the pedestrian takes precedence over the cars, so that if the pedestrian reaches the crosswalks, it will wait for the car to leave the intersection if there is a car already on it, but then we will make all car wait before going through the intersection for the pedestrian to cross the crosswalks. Now, the plan is very simple. We are going to go to our prefabs, to our road prefab, and let's open up the three-way street. Okay, great. And currently we have one collider here. This is the collider that is taken into account by the smart road script. Now what we would like to do is let's minimize the car markers here. And we are going to create a new object, create empty. Let's call it smart crosswalks. Okay. And this script in turn will make sure that we detect the pedestrians that reaches the crosswalks. Let's reset the transform of this object those three dots and reset and what we are going to do is we are going to add smaller colliders that are extending over the crosswalks towards the pavement so what we are going to detect is we are going to detect on collision enter for every pedestrian that walks towards this collider so first of all we are going to add a component here so let's add component and let's type box and we are going to select the box collider great now this is a pretty big collider and we will want to modify it. So let's type the uh, center on Y axis to be 0 0.11 and, center, uh, and size on Y axis to be 0 0.12. And this will be our collider. Now all we will need to do is fit it onto one of those crosswalks. We can do it by editing the collider. So click the edit collider button and use the handles to drag our collider to one of the crosswalks what we can do is select an axis and uh, with the axis tool let's select a y-axis and make sure that you're in the orthographic view and we can drag our collider using those handles great and all we want to do is make sure that our collider is extended uh, onto the pavement and what we want to do is here uh, when there is the third crosswalk we don't want those colliders to touch each other so we are going to just minimally make sure that the collider extends uh, on the pavement and since our pedestrian collider is also pretty big uh, the pedestrians will stay on the pavement before they start walking now we have our collider so let's finish editing it and what we can do is click on those three dots on the box collider in the inspector uh, copy the component click again on those three dots and paste component as new and now what we can do is edit this com uh, collider or actually what we can do is slide it on the z-axis since we know that we want to slide it on the axis so let's select the center and let's move the center and you can see that we are moving a whole collider so we can see that for our center on z in the first collider we have minus uh, 0 0.23 so let's add 0 0.23 okay and let's add 0 0.23 uh, and 7 and it should fit our second crosswalk the last collider needs to be on the third crosswalk. So again, let's click those three dots on the box collider and paste our component as new. And let's set the Z value on center of the collider, the third collider to be zero. And now it is here. So what we can do is we can drag it on X axis and let's place it somewhere uh, on maybe 0.27 and let's edit this third collider. Now you may see that you are adding all the colliders and what we want to do is simply fit our collider to match our crosswalk. Okay. And let's extend it a bit over the pavement and let's make sure that it doesn't uh, overlap uh, the other colliders. So the idea is that if the pedestrian goes to this pedestrian marker and it tries to cross the road, so it will be crossing those uh, using those diamonds markers, so the, it will be crossing in a straight line. It will at some point collide with one of those colliders. And then we are going to make sure that we integrate our behavior 
with the behavior of our car smart road script that is on the part object and if this sends us a message that all the cars were stopped then we are going to inform the pedestrians that they can cross and if they cross and they exit the collider we are going to simply remove them from the list of pedestrians that are uh, currently crossing the crosswalks and if the list is zero so the count is zero we are going to inform the cars that they can go until another pedestrian comes to cross the crosswalk okay so those are the colliders what we are going to do now is we are going to create a new c -sharp script so let's go to our scripts folder right click create and let's choose c -sharp script actually i wanted to create it in ai so escape to delete it enter the ai and here we want to right click create a c -sharp script and let's type smart crosswalks and let's open this script up in visual studio your rate. Let's delete the update and start methods. And what we will want to do here is we will want to inform our street uh, smart road script that something has happened. So to do this, we are going to use events. To create an event, let's type prop, tab tab, and let, as type, let's type unity event. And since we do not have it, alt enter on it, and we are going to say using unity engine.events library and now events will allow us to assign a method uh, to it thus informing another class that we assign or another object that we assign as the listener to this event that something has happened to expose it in the inspector we will need to add attribute field that will direct uh, the attribute to the backing field that for our uh, event for our property is uh, not created but there is a backing field for it and to access it we will need to type field a colon serialized field and now this unity event will be visible in the inspector let's call this on pedestrian enter so this will be the uh, event that happens when the pedestrian cr uh, enters the collider of a crosswalk informing the cars that uh, I want to cross the crosswalks and uh, then the smart uh, road object will have to deal with uh, how cars react to it and next we are going to also have an event so let's actually we can copy this let's paste it below and let's change the name to on pedestrian exit and this event will only be called when we have no more pedestrians crossing the road and how do we know if there, there are no pedestrians we're going to create a list so let's uh, create it at the top so the events are always at the bottom let's call it list of ai agents and we will need to alt enter on it and be using ai agents using simple city.ai again this is in a separate namespace and ai agent is a simple script that drives our pedestrians so the list will be the pedestrian list equals new list okay now as i recall we haven't set the colliders to be triggers so we will need to do this in unity but before that let's finish implementing the script so what we will need to do is we are going to create on trigger enter script and what we will want to do is check var pedestrian so if this comp component contains a pedestrian uh, an ai agent script so if equals other dot get component and of type ai agent if we can get this component then we know that we are dealing with a pedestrian so if our pedestrian is not null since a get component will return the component or null value if this is not null and we will want to check if pedestrian list dot contains our pedestrian equals false so we do not want to add a pedestrian to a list twice we are going to call pedestrian list dot add our pedestrian set pedestrian dot stop and we do not have our a way to stop our pedestrian so what we will need to do is click on our ai agent right click and go to the definition okay great so now we do not have a way to stop our pedestrian from moving forward so let's slide it down uh, and above start method let's create a prop full tab tab 
and this will be our property let's type a bool s type let's go to the name and let's call it stop tab to move to the name of the property and let's call it capital s stop enter and this will be our property so this will be similar to what we have in our car ai and when we want to stop we will expand this set so set will set our stop value and we are going to check if stop and here we will want to stop our pedestrians and we will want to set our animation our pedestrians uh, are currently using an update to move and they are using the transform uh, vector 3 dot move towards and we set the position as it uh, we do not want that we want to move them using rigid body so we can detect the collisions so let's slide up and above the stop we are going to create a rigid body reference rigid body rb and what we are going to do is above the start let's create awake and we are going to simply call our rigid body rb equals get component of type rigid body and this will be it so now what we can do is modify the update movement so that our position uses the uh, rigid body to move but before that we are going to finish off implementing the start uh, stop method so if we want to stop we are going to call rigid body dot velocity equals vector 3.0 and we are going to call our animator so we want to set our animation set bull and let's type walk with capital w and let's set it to be false and else so else we are going to simply set our animator dot set ball walk and we are going to set it to be true let's slide down to where the update method is and in the initialize actually the initialize is the same as for our car we give our pedestrian a path what we are going to do is we are using the trigger to uh, trigger the animation so instead what we are going to do is call uh, instead of the animator we are going to call stop equals false and this will do all the work for us now let's slide it down where we have our update uh, here it is and here we will want to simply make sure that we are not stopped so move flag is a flag that we have implemented earlier in my previous tutorial so let's add and stop equals false great and if stop is equal to false then it means that we can move so let's go to our perform movement method and here we are simply calling our move the agent so in our move agent modify the move the agent method so that it uses rigid body so we have our step which is speed times uh, time dot delta time we have end position calculated and instead of a transform dot position let's comment it out we are going to call rigid body dot velocity equals transform dot forward which is the forward, di uh, forward direction of the pedestrian times the speed okay so those are all the changes that we will need to do to our a agent in the script let's control s to save it let's go back to our smart crosswalks i have it open in visual studio okay so now we can set our pedestrian dot stop equals true so again we will want to stop our pedestrians as they approach our crosswalk and what we want to do is every time we stop a pedestrian we want to type on pedestrian enter and we will add question mark to see if anybody is listening to this unity event if yes dot invoke and we are going to simply invoke this to inform our smart uh, road object that there is a pedestrian waiting now next what we will want to do is create here on trigger exit and this in turn will again call the var pedestrian equals other dot get component and we are going to simply get the ai agent again to check if we have uh, an uh, object that has an uh, agent uh, component on it and if our pedestrian is not null we'll of course want to remove it from our uh, list so let's call a uh, list type remove pedestrian and let's pass the pedestrian okay and let's create this method since we do not have it so alt enter and generate this method let's slide it down remove pedestrian and what we are going to do is create a pedest uh, called pedestrian uh, list 
dot remove and this will remove our pedestrian okay and this method returns bool value if pedestrian was removed so if it was present or not we are not interested in it but what we what we can do is check if our pedestrian list dot count is less or equal to zero then we know that we will need to, uh, to inform our uh, road smart road uh, object that the cars can start moving so on pedestrian exit event question mark to see if anybody is listening to it dot invoke great and last thing that we will want to have is to make uh, the smart object be able to inform our smart crosswalks that the road is clear and that the pedestrians can move so we are going to create a public void move pedestrians method and here inside it we are going to simply look for each tab tab to create this from the snippet var pedestrian in pedestrian list and if they can move we are going to simply call for each pedestrian on the list pedestrian dot stop equals false and we are going to uh, make all the pedestrians start moving and we need only one equal because we are not comparing objects great okay with that done let's save it let's go back to unity great now here we, what we want to do is to add to our smart cross smart crossbox object in the street through a a component so let's add component and we are going to select smart crossbox script and we have on pedestrian enter and on pedestrian exit a smart uh, unity events to which we can assign an uh, object and in the next video we are going to fix our ai agents and we are going to test our logic so see you in the next video